Hey guys, it's Tark with Cyclone FPV, and uh, I appreciate you all joining me tonight. I figured I'd do something different. One of the one of the new things I thought I'd do for the new year was um, start putting out videos <clears throat> at a frequency of roughly one a day. And some days I may do a couple videos. Uh, time does permit now for me to at least get some more done for you guys. And uh, if some of y'all have gone to the website, you'll see the poll that I just put up or on the Facebook page. You can go to our website and under the news at the top link there, you can see the um, the write-up on the uh, the poll that I just put up there. I'd like to know what you guys want to see. I started doing an inventory of everything I've got, and I think it'd be you'd be pretty just surprised to see what we've got here in stock. So uh, videos on everything from, you know, if you got some how-to videos, some wiring guides. Hey Ryan, how's it going, bud? And I see I see Aaron's there, um, guys. I appreciate you joining. I, I know it's a last-minute video. My intention is to uh, that's what I'm working on tonight is to set up a calendar, and I think what I'm gonna do is. Put a um, put a calendar together where every day, five days of the week, you have a set time, whether it's during the day, like a regular job, where you can tune in and there will be a video guaranteed at that time. This way, everybody can get used to kind of tuning in. But I won't go into that. That wasn't the purpose of this video. The idea of today's video is to go over something, something simple that I sat down and made. Uh, and it's it's this little thing. I put a picture online about it. Um, and, uh, and it's actually become extremely useful. So I thought I would put together something for you guys that uh, may find it useful. Uh, it may help you. It may not. I don't know. It depends on where you're at in the uh, in the hobby. Um, and then I was going to introduce you. Some products actually came in today, and I thought it'd be cool to kind of show you. So um, let me get to my workbench here and uh, see if I can get this zoomed in enough. And uh, let's do, you know how I do this with this picture and picture junk. So let me figure this out. And I think that we will do this. Here. One second, and we will have it made. So let's pop me right there. Let's bring this over. All right. And now we'll scale this down so you don't see my big ugly mug again. Let's scale it down and move me over. And there you go. All right. So what you're looking at now is um, obviously on the workbench here. And I'll do it from this viewpoint because I'm going to have to use the uh, the uh, little, this thing here in just a little bit, this magnifier. But um, what we're looking at is... I'm going to put together something for you guys on, on the parts you would need, but this is a pretty simple build, but it'll help you in doing uh, motor testing, right? So I have to do that a lot, actually, because I get a lot of motors in here. I get a lot of quads in here uh, that people say, well, my ESC's burned out or my motor doesn't work, and I end up having to take it off and either put on another ESC or um, you know put another motor on the ESC or take that motor and put on another one. Whatever it is, the point being is i got to do testing. So... Because I got about 40 motors here that are waiting for me to test that are mine uh, from different builds, I wanted to build something like this. So the idea is pretty simple. Um, first, I'm going to show you how this works. That way you don't have to sit here and watch something if it doesn't interest you. Uh, and then if you are interested in how I made it, I'll tell you and tell you how to get the parts. And you can have yourself a little uh, project to work on. So well, we're going to take, for example, hey, David, we're going to take, for example, this motor right here, right? Okay, so this is an Emax uh, 1306 motor. Now... What I needed to know was whether the motor was burned out or not, and I needed to test it. So here's what I did. I came up with this little thing, and what it involves is the following parts. You have to have an ESC. So I got these. I remember I think I paid like 99 cents for these at the time. These little cheapy ESCs. I think they're DYS, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, I don't remember, but they might be. Anyways, so I got me. An, I, I pulled one of the ESCs. Uh, I pulled a JST connection because I'm going to be using a JST battery for this. Uh, you'll want some servo wiring, so just take any color. I mean, I really don't care. I'm going to, oh, I guess I'll just take the gray, the lighter gray, and the black, and that'll help. Um, and, yeah, I will. I'm actually, uh, Ryan, I'm going to put this on the website. I'll do them pre-built um, or uh, at least sell the parts for it. And then you're going to need uh, a voltage converter because the servo, the, the, the device we're going to be using here will only work at 5 volts, Okay. So um, I couldn't find the one that I used in my original build, but I happen to, I think, have this one. What I cannot tell you is if this is the right one or not. I think this is actually going to fail because it's going to go to 12 volt, but I'll, I'll give you the idea anyway. All right. So what this is basically is, um, and, and you'll need one of these, and I don't know what the <laughs> terminology is for this thing. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a package over here somewhere that has the name of it, but let me hold on. Let me go grab that and see. Uh, it is called... A, I got these on Amazon, a uh, little cheapy PCB screw terminal block. There you go, PCB screw terminal block, right? They come in these kits. Anyways, it the purpose of this is to be able to screw down the motor wires instead of having to solder them, right? So the way this thing works is I take my motor 
And um, I guess I could use the top camera if that would make it easier. Let me, let me try that. All right, let's see if this makes it easier for you guys. All right, so um, I take my motor and I take a, a screwdriver. And in this case, I guess I will use this Phillips. I think that'll fit, that should fit. All right, so um, I'm gonna take the uh, wires from the motor, right? And I'm, and like I said, I don't want to keep soldering these things, right? So I'm going to basically uh, put the wires in, uh, fasten them down, okay? So there's one, and here comes the second one. And then here comes the third one. Now this one, let me, let me straighten this one out. I think it had some solder in it from the build that it was on originally. So let me just clean that off real quick. All right, so I'll put the third one on, screw that down. Okay, so now I've got my motor on, right? And um, I'll turn this around. And so I've got my power here, so I'm just gonna connect the uh, battery, like so. And you will hear it um, like you would if you're powering up a regular ESC. So I'm gonna connect the battery. It's very faint noise though, so you're not gonna hear very much of it. And then I'm gonna turn my dial. And as you can see, my motor spins. There you go, I just tested, and without having to do any soldering or anything else, um, I know my motor's good. So this was the idea, was to try to put something together that would allow me to test immediately, right? Without having to be like, oh man, I gotta take another motor, I gotta, hey Bryce, how's it going bud? And Billy, how you doing? Uh, all you guys, I see you guys signing in. Julio, Ryan, I, everybody, I'm sorry, I was looking down. Enrique, um, guys, and I want you to hang tight. After this, I'm just going to pull us a couple new products that we got on here, so it'd be cool if you watch for a little bit. Uh, you might see some of the new stuff that we're getting in. So anyways, as you can tell, though, um, you know, when you've got as many repairs as I do, uh, being able to test motors like this uh, without having to resolder or do anything uh, is very good. It, it helps me. It cuts down a lot of time. So again, once you set this up, you can start it up and this will work for any motor. You're not going to blow it. You're only using like a six amp ESC or something minimal, but this is the setup. I love it and it saves me. I can test motors now in two minutes. I basically just unscrew this motor and I put another one on there. And when you've got like 40 of them in the back here that I need to test, I can knock it out pretty quickly. So let me just get this unscrewed and then I would just go to my next motor and that's it. And I can take this motor, pull it out and there's no soldering involved. All right. So, uh, yeah, a full house, exactly. So this is what I was telling you. Um, this is what I'm going to show you how to do. Uh, I did use a plate from one of my quads to do this. Um, I'm actually building a work table for you guys. I'm going to show you guys how it would work, and I'll do that probably in the next couple weeks. But it's actually a quad work table. I've been working on it for a while, and I think it would help some of y'all if you're doing a lot of quad work. Um, it's got different stations laid out on it, and one of them is for this. So here's what you're going to need, right? So you're going to need this little servo tester here. Now, I'm gonna, I, I've ordered a handful of these and I'm probably gonna stock about 100 of them, um, but you will need a servo tester and I'll have it on the site later if you wanna order them from me, or you can go to Banggood, Hobby King, or Bling Blang Bong, whatever the heck, uh, whatever site you wanna go to, go to any site, if they have them, great. These are very cheap, uh, but then you'll pay shipping to get them here, but you will need a servo tester. Like I said, I'll have, a, I'll have them on my site later today. I just don't have 100 in right now, they're on order. Um, I only have like 10 in right now. You'll need a cheap ESC. I'll also have these on the site too. And these will be part of this kit or this, this build. Um, and you can either order this build assembled or you can do it yourself. I'd tell you just do it yourself if you want. It's no big deal. Um, you'll need a JST plug, all right? And uh, that's only because I'm using a small motor. Uh, you don't want to use anything big, but if you want to use an XT60, go right ahead. You will need a step-down converter. Unfortunately, I think this is a step-down to 12 volt. This is not the one I needed for today's build. What I needed was actually what I used on mine. And to be honest with you, I can't remember where I put them. That's the problem. But I'm still going to put this together and, and show you guys how it works and how you, how you assemble it. Um, after that, like some server wires, and that's it. Okay, so let me get started on how this is going to work. It's a very simple build, and we'll get going real quickly, all right? So um, I'm going to switch cameras here now so that you guys, uh, so I can use this magnifying glass. So the first thing we're going to want to do, and you can use this as a reference here, you want to get your ESC ready, right? So on your ESC, um, you are going to have your power side and then you're going to have the side for your signals right going out to the motor and then you've got your side coming into the board. Well, the board in this case is actually going to be your servo tester. Okay, so let's go ahead and prep that up first because that's going to be one of the big things that we've got to make sure is done properly. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, tin it first. 
All right. And now I need my old man glasses here, so bear with me because I can't see anything anymore. Um, and this little sucker will get away from you. So if you have something to grip it with, I didn't grip it the first time when I built this, but I figured instead of embarrassing myself uh, on this video, I would try to use it, although I hate this thing. I like to kind of have the freedom of just doing what I need to do. But all right, so we're gonna do that and we're gonna go ahead and tin this board first, all right? So here's how you're gonna work this. Okay, so let's go ahead and tin our board. Okay. And then uh, we'll tin the other side real quick. All right, now that our board is tinned, we're gonna see how we're gonna wire it. And the way we're gonna wire this board is um, you're gonna put the JST cable in line with your uh, voltage regulator, which is right here, all right? Uh, the one that I used, like I said, it's on here. I really wish I could find out where I put them, but for some reason or not, I can't seem to find anything because I just got a bunch of new product in and I thought I had it laying on my desk and I don't. One second, let me see if maybe I can find it laying around here, hold on. I mean, I only have 500 things that came in today, so it's a little difficult, but if I get lucky, and no, no luck. So we'll just go with what I've got right now. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to do is um, you want to go ahead and uh, solder on your PCB connector, right? So um, we're going to go ahead and put that on the side where your motor would normally go. So let me go ahead and place that down. Just want the darn thing to stick. Hopefully it stays. And then go ahead and prep uh, the bottom of this. Uh, and depending on how you like it, I like these facing up so I can put the wires in it. So um, it's however you want to do it. But uh, and let me see if I can zoom in there for you guys just a little bit. Maybe that'll help. All right. So I'm going to prep these pins real quick. And it's going to be very simple. I'm just going to prep the bottom of them. Try to put just a little bit of solder on there just to hold because I don't want to heat this up too bad with the plastic right next to it. All right. So there we go. And the tricky part, which drove me nuts the first time, was just getting that to hold uh, even. So I think what I'm going to do this time is try to get a grip of this with the tweezers, if I can, which it seems almost impossible. Let me grab a different set of tweezers. Maybe this will help. All right. Let's see if I can get a grip here. Ah. Come on, you darn thing. You know, sometimes I just hate it. All right, I'll just hold it like this. So um, I guess the best way to, is going to be to do this is go with the middle part first. These will line up actually. It just happens to be coincidence. They're going to line up perfectly to this board. So um, just go ahead and heat up the middle real quick just to kind of get a grip on it. Once it holds, you can heat up one side, let it go, go to the other side. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to get it to melt down, right? But only one piece is going to get hot at a time. So you're going to end up going over it real quickly until they were all fastened. Now, there's what you have done when it's finished, right? It looks just like that, okay? So this piece is now on there, and remember, this is where the motors go. So now you've got your uh, PCB connector straight uh, to the uh, ESC, and now you've got your motors that'll go in here. Now, you have to do the other side now, right? So on the other side, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna run our, um, our uh, cable, and this is where your uh, uh, wires here, this is where your servo wires are gonna come in. now. You can trim these down and do whatever you want to make them fit. You can uh, splice these off here. Uh, for the sake of making this easy for this video, I'm just going to leave everything like it is and fold the wire back. There's no harm in this because the, the ends here are really good to solder to this. So I have no problem just doing that. All right. And, and so, you know, you do it however you want to do it, but uh, I'm going to try to save time because the idea is not aesthetics here as much as it is showing you the purpose of this and how it's going to work. So I'm gonna leave the black where the ground is. So I'm gonna go ahead and tin that real quick. Then I've got my signal, which will be the light gray. And I'm only doing this order because this is how the wire is pulled off. All right, so you wanna go ahead and attach these next. And for this, I really don't wanna to have to use that thing. So let me just see if I can get it done without it sliding all over the place. So we're gonna do one, done. And we're gonna to go to signal. This is gonna be a little tricky. Let me just kind of set it up on something. Stuff doesn't stop moving. I guess I may have to uh, put it back on that thing. Hold on, let me see if I can get this. 
Okay, so we're going to do two to the signal. There you go. And the third one is going to be your positive. Okay. Now, for the sake of testing, I'm not worried about putting another ground on here. Um, so just you can you can do it like this if you like. I I kind of prefer it just like this. It's very simple. And then what I did is I went after it and um, hot glued everything in. But this is basically what you're looking for. All right. Now, if you cut the wires and want to save some space, it's easy to do because then you can keep your wires in line. Again, I'm just doing it like this for you to be able to see it. The kit and the the, the project I would do would actually come together like this where it's heat shrinking and everything. That's the end result when you want to make it look good. All right. So the next thing is um, you need to hook up your um, JST connection. Now, you're going to end up soldering again, and you can do one of two things here. You can either solder directly to the uh, opening here where the pin is, uh, uh, sorry, where it connects here inside the container, or you can solder to this spot here. I'm going to try to solder here. The only downside is sometimes it'll actually pop off, but let me just go ahead. Uh, hey, Alex, how's it going, bud? Uh, sorry, I just looked up now from what I was doing, and I saw you were there. All right, so I'm just going to try to do this, and hopefully the solder will actually, the, the, uh, hopefully these wires will stay put. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop some real quick uh, solder on here because this will melt pretty quick. Uh, so let me see if I can do that. And I'm just going to take it real quickly like this. All right, that's one. Uh, well, I thought it was. All right, let's see if that'll hold. If not, I'll put some more on there, but I think for this it's going to hold. Now when I did mine, I did not attach the plot. I, I removed these, so I basically put the wires together. But again, I'm just kind of showing you the way this works. And then after that, you'll see the end result. So put the other one here. Okay, and now we have our power. So what we've done now, and I want to get that black one secured. It doesn't look like it's sitting very nicely. So let me see if I can fix that. Let me add a little bit more solder here. And let's get this connected better. There we go. All right, now that's pretty solid on there. And so is the red. So we're good to go. I may, I may actually turn this a little bit out 90 degrees so I get a little better angle when I fasten it. All right. So there's our setup right there. All right. Now we can make it look cleaner when you're making yours or when I do it. Um, all right. So now what we've got is we've got everything in line and we take our servo tester, right, which is right here. So on the servo tester, like you can see what I've done here, uh, it'll tell you uh, you are at signal on the top, right? And then you've got your power in the middle. And then you've got your ground on the bottom. And if you look on the label right here, you're going to see it. Signal or servo is what they call it. It's a signal wire, positive, and ground. So set it up that way. You've got your signal wire, which is the light gray, your positive, which is the dark gray, and your ground. Go ahead and just plug them in. Okay. Um, now you are done, right, with this part, with this part of it. Uh, like I said, though, I did realize that what I pulled was the... Um, 12 volt regulator and not the 5 volt and I don't see a 5 volt so what I'm going to do is uh, what the 5 volt is this one right here it's on mine right here so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just feed this with 5 volts uh, and uh, and show you guys how it would work and then but you would <clears throat> simply to say you would do the following your 5 volt would actually go between these two so these wires here, right, is, is what's going to be connecting your 5 volt to here. And I actually, I'll just go ahead and do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab something so I can show you how that would work. Uh, give me one second and I'll find that for you. And we'll make it, we'll make it work pretty easy. Uh, I just got to find that darn thing. Let me see. Mm -mm 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 Eventually, they will come up. I have faith. I hope. Give it a couple more minutes, and if I don't see it, then we will just continue with what we've got. I was just hoping that I had it. Uh, voltage regulator. I'm going to grab this one from Maytech, I guess, just to try to make it work. Let me see if I can use that. Uh, all right. I think I'll use this one that I found here uh, for now and then we'll deal with it. Um, give me one second, guys, and I'm gonna grab that, and I should be able to finish this for you with the actual voltage regulator. Okay. 
So here's how you would wire this up. Sorry, I stepped away because I wanted to try to find that. I think I had an idea of where it might have been, and I'm checking out to make sure. And then if not, I'll just use a different one. But there's so many parts in here. Okay, so what you would do in this case, where No, nah, I found it. There you go. Ooh! Ha-ha! <laughs> Saga! Do I find it? Oh, yeah. A lot of cats, I know. My mom's so proud of me, let me tell you. She loves it. Every time she sees me, she licks her thumb, rubs it, and realizes they're still not coming off. Okay, so um, what I did on my, on my build here, right, was I terminated and crimped down the cables. Uh, but if you don't have the ability to do that, um, either way, what you're trying to do is you're going to try to feed and lower the power from here uh, to the servo tester because the servo tester is only going to handle five volts okay so you need a regulator for that and so the regulator is going to go in line here and uh, let me see the easiest way I can get you guys to do that would be hmm well I tell you what we'll just try to make it simple here <clears throat> if you don't have the kit to do it and all the tools to do it I will show you how I do it all right so I'm gonna make this kind of simple so that you guys can do this at home even if you don't have all the stuff. Uh, this will just make it easier, but um, on the ones that I do, I do them just a tad bit different to make them a little neater. So we're gonna go ahead and just trim these real quick. And uh, I will crimp, I would crimp normally a new wire on there, but I think what I'm gonna do is just settle this real quickly and get you guys back up and running on this. So we wanna take uh, the following one. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take the ground portion. I'm just going to heat, I'm going to heat shrink this so we can kind of move along quicker. Uh, but it's going to be pretty simple. All right. All right. Let me change this then to make this easier. If you have this stuff to do it, that's great. If not, then you can um, let me know and I'll get it to you. But the uh, main thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and leave our signal wire where it is. So let me go ahead and put that back on because that doesn't change no matter what. And I'm going to shrink it down now because if cut it, I don't need to have that much length. Let me go ahead and shrink it down. Let me pre tin it. Hey, that's what I like to see. I'll tell you what, the judges don't like it, but that's just because some of them just don't know understand. All right, so we'll put our signal wire back, All right? Oops, sorry, right. I'm kind of rushing myself here, so let's just go ahead and hold that on there. All right, now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do in line this way. So, I'm gonna go from the input here, right? Which uh, is gonna be on this side, and so I'm going to get this cable and where is my JST? And here's my JST, and these are gonna to go together. So I'll go ahead first and put my uh, ground on here. Let me just pre tin it real quick. And then I'll cut that part down. Yeah. There we go. Oh, my solder on here is way too much solder. Let me just get this done real quick. All right, because I know I'm gonna have to come back with my ground cable, so hang tight. And where is that? Right here. All right, well, we're just gonna leave that now for the ground, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the positive, right? So we're gonna take our output on the positive, Flip it down, bring it in, solder it, and then we're going to go ahead and add our JST. Okay. All right, we've got our power, and now all we're going to do now, and normally, like I said, we would 
uh, clamp these, but I'm just trying to get this to show you guys. And you can make it as awesome as you want. The idea here is to give you the principle behind it and the how-to. So I'm just going to give me some small uh, heat shrink. And we'll put our connection here. There's one. We'll get our other one, which is going to be our darker gray. Do the same thing. In it get my other heat shrink okay close those up real quick Now that that's done, I can fold these or do whatever I want to make them fit. But here's my servo right here, my servo tester. So I'm going to take, now we've got the ground which goes on the bottom. We've got the positive which goes in the middle. And we've got the um, signal which goes on the top, right? And so here's our little setup, okay? The only thing I want to do is I'm going to test. Oh yeah, Bryce, a hundred times. We've all done that God darn it moment where we're like, well, maybe I don't need to put it on. And then you're like, no, I do. Um, I'm going to test the voltage real quick, make sure everything's working properly. So let me just disconnect it from here. Make sure I've got five volts, make sure nothing sparks, and make sure I don't have anything grounded out. So let me test the ground. Okay. Okay, I think everything looks good there. We'll find out in one second. Well, okay, hold on. Let me see what I got. Somewhere in here. It's all, it's the worst thing possible. I mean, you sit there and you, you do it and the next thing you know, you're like crap. And you know, you always go through that debate, right? Like. Hey, do I need to do the heat shrink or not? And I do. I hate it because I always end up getting busted on it. Uh, let me see. Do I have everything done right here? Because that does not... Yeah, that's right. All right. I think it's like the curse. We're all cursed with that for some reason or another. I don't know why, but it happens. All right, let me make sure that that's right. Let me see what wire I used here. Yep, that looks good. All right, and now we get our, let me make sure these are right. Oh, is it good? Is the video getting slow? All right, I'll try. I don't know if the bandwidth, we've got a bad storm out here. Uh, hang tight a second. Let me just see if we've got a bandwidth issue on our end. Let me get my JST. Where is this plug? <clears throat> mm. 
Let's see if I can increase the bandwidth, guys. Give me one sec. Here connected. Oh, we have a ground somewhere. This one is grounded. Let me test something here. Oh, good. It's streaming okay. All right, good. I just I just pushed it up a little bit, so I want to make sure. By the way, while we're doing that, I'm gonna show you guys, I wanted to show you this. It is the new motor that just came in. Um, it is the, I, I know I'm kind of sidetracking here, but I'm really excited about it. So in comparison, this is the new one Brother Hobby just completed for us. Uh, it's got our logo on, I don't know if you can see that, um, but it is, the, it is the new Cyclone 3115 series. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's our logo right there. And that is a 640 KV. Uh, just to give you an idea, um, this motor right here is, this is the uh, Chaos 2207 series. So you can see them side by side. Uh, these are going to be intense. So I've decided to come up with a, uh, we're gonna be spending a lot of time doing the uh, X-Class series frames. Uh, yep, so there's a side by side comparison between the two, all right? Pretty intense. Um, I'm really excited about it. I really, really, really can't wait to get that going. Um, I think that uh, I was getting back to this. So if you guys have, uh, and and I still have a couple more things to show you all. I'm going to speed through this because I don't think my 5-volt converter is hitting properly. So I hate to keep wasting time on it. So, um, But in either case, I'm going to try this one now and see if this one will do better. Um, but I want to show you guys a couple new things that we also got in. So I'll, I'm going to kind of just speed through here now and see if we can get this uh See if we can get this uh, done once and for all. Um, where am I at? Where is my thing? Let me take this off because I want to make sure. Yeah, and that's right. But uh, for some reason or another, I'm not getting five volts out of this. So I think my converter uh, is failing on my end. So let me just check and make sure. I'm gonna put a voltage to it real quick. I wanna test the voltage coming out of this before I continue. Oh yeah, the X-Class is gonna be awesome. Uh, the motor price, I don't know yet. I'm, I'm, still, I'm just putting them in the computer right now. Uh, so uh, it's gonna take me a little bit of time to figure that out, but uh, I'll have it by tonight uh, posted online to see um, what they're gonna be. But I'm pretty excited about it. I've been testing it out for a while. Oh, and by the way, here, I'm sorry. One more thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, you know what, here, let me just show you this. Here's the other one. Uh, yeah, let's just get to it, right, shall we? All right, there you go. Now, that is beast mode. So Brother Hobby will be finishing these for us. Uh, this is the T7 series of theirs, T5 series, and then this is our Chaos, uh, this is our Chaos series uh, that they made for us um, uh, earlier in the year, obviously, when we had the 30, uh, the 3400 KV. So these will actually be made with this uh, as well around it. So. Uh, this is the uh, T7 Tornadoes, and this is going to be running probably with the 14-inch props that we're going to be doing. Uh, this is the T5. We're going to be running up to 10-inch props. Yeah, I, I really wanted to show you guys these. I'm, I'm really excited here. Let me, let me change this around a little bit. I know we're getting off topic, but I think this is really important. <laughs> so uh, there's that one, right? And then there's that one. And then there's that one. Okay. This is the motor everybody uses right now, right? So this is the regular size, so you get a good size comparison. It's pretty impressive. Uh, flying to the moon is exactly what I, that was the comment I made. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, and I know I totally got it off topic here, but I've been waiting a, 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 quite a while for those to arrive. And I was really happy to see that they came in today. Um, uh, and what I was going to do was test the voltage. So that's right. <laughs> all right. Anyways, let me just get to this. So when you put all these, I, I want to kind of hurry this up so I can show you guys a couple other things. But basically what ends up happening is when you put all these together, and if you hadn't seen it earlier when I first turned it on, um, by assembling it all in this way, you end up, and where did I put my motor at? Uh, I have a motor somewhere around here, that little Emacs, and I don't know where I put it. Um, well, I guess I can use, uh, let me see. I'm not going to use the big motor because I don't need to. 
But uh, wherever it is, you guys may see it before I do. Um, anyways, this is what it's going to work. Go, yeah, to the moon. That's exactly where it's going, but I know it. I know it. Uh, all right, so let me finish this one up real quick then, and we will get going from there. Uh, let me see where I'm at. All right. I need to stay on topic here. I got a million things going through my head. Oh, by the way, we just picked up uh, 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 Dal RC. Um, so uh, we are now carrying... Wait, I'm on the wrong thing here. Let me go this way. Boom, boom, there. So we picked up Dal RC. I uh, just got these in today as well. Got uh, 50 of these in. Um, this is their uh, uh, all-in-one F4 board. Uh, excited about this one because the pads on it are big enough. And I got to thank my buddy Jose. Uh, uh, he's out here and... Um, he was the one who showed me this board. I really like the size of the pads, uh, so I can use this without going with a PDB. So I'm going to show you guys a motor uh, probably tomorrow that has the built-in ESC. I've talked about it before. And without a PDB and with a built-in ESC on the motor, we can keep the build really thin. So um, I don't know if you've seen these boards before. I'm going to go ahead and open this one up real quick. Uh, where the heck? I know it's got a little tearing slot, but I don't know where it went. I tell you what, man. I think I'm just getting old and I can't see anything anymore. All right. Here, let me show you. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Little, little skinny fingers can get that out. I got my fat nuggets. They won't get in there. All right, so here's the board. Uh, really excited about this board. Um, I tested it out with Jose, or sorry, with Julio. Uh, Julio Rodriguez and I worked on it, um, and uh, uh, it's actually pretty well. So it's got the pads big enough, so you don't need to PDB for it. Um, it's got OSD. It's got everything I need on it, and we tested it out. It worked well, so I'm, I'm really excited to put this one on our builds and keep the builds really thin. So I just wanted to show you guys that. That'll be something new that we're carrying. came in tonight, so I'll put it in inventory um, along with the motors. And I've got to give a shout-out to uh, my buddy Aaron. So Aaron sent me uh, this t <laughs> a couple days ago, and it's been sitting in a box. I didn't know it was in there. Um, and uh, and it's i got to say, it's the first time somebody's ever sent me anything. I mean, like I don't think I've ever received a quad. Um, well, I, I don't know. I, I guess I have to say, I've never seen one like this. I guess this is the popular thing. These are called, uh, I, I won't say the word, they're just 70 millimeter stuff. Um, but uh, these are hilarious. So believe it or not, it's got me interested in building this line now. So um, you're gonna start seeing some of these micro pain in the butt quads that I have to figure out. My fat nuggets are gonna figure out how to attach everything. But we're gonna be doing these too. All right, so um, let me get back to what the heck I was doing to begin with. All right, so we got the connections. I gotta test this. Uh, voltage real quick because I was a little concerned that I'm not getting what I'm supposed to out of it. So let me get um, some, let me do this and I'm just going to attach the, uh, I'm going to attach this directly to it real quickly. Let me see how I do that. Alright, so I'm going to do this so I can, yeah I know I hear they're fun, I just don't get it. It's a whole bunch of hype and I feel like I spent so much time developing uh, five inch quads and then it, then it's like the market said no we want to go smaller and now they want to go to X class and I'm like look make up your mind I, I, I can only make so many and design so many but uh, Aaron did that and got me interested so now I am I am intrigued to see how we're gonna pull that off I think it's pretty cool uh, all right so let me do this let me do this and let's clean this up and what I may do is I may just go ahead and jump this straight on here just so that I can, I'll regulate from the, uh, I'll just regulate from the battery itself, just for the sake of moving along. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to try it out. I know, I know, I know. It's like everything else. Once I try it, I'm just going to like, I mean, I was not doing seven inch builds and then a couple months ago I did one and now I'm like, oh man, I don't even know if I want to go back to five inch. So I'm afraid, I'm afraid I'm not going to come back to what I know what I'm comfortable with, but um, we'll see. Just, golly, a lot of time invested to just turn it out now. But I'm really, I'm a, extremely appreciative of Aaron doing that. That was a very kind gesture, and uh, I'm very grateful for it. Um, I The batteries look like sticks of gum, though. I still don't understand this. When I got these things, I'm like, what do you want me to do with this? It looked like a stick of gum. Um, but and he's like, no, you plug in the USB. I was like, all right. All right, I gotta see if this thing smokes again because I am getting a high voltage out of it and I gotta, yeah, I gotta, I think it's my, uh, well, I've got these reversed, so hold on a second. I'm definitely doing this wrong. All my, all my excitement of the new product is, uh, but anyways, thanks, Aaron. I appreciate you very much. It really meant a lot to me uh, that you did that.
sit still. There we go. That's what happens when I try to do something so quickly so that you guys don't have to waste your time. And now I'm having to take more time just to fix it. This is what we call a sloppy solder, so I can at least test this out. There we go. All right, now let's see if we have our five volts. If we do, we're in good shape. Yep, should be. Excellent, all right, so we are now running our five volts, so that works out well. Team Cyclone. My God, whoops, I can't say that word. I will not call them whoops. Don't ask me to call them whoops, I'm out. If you approach me with that, I'm walking out of the meeting completely. Kiss it, goodbye. All right, now let me get this connected and finish this darn five minute project that's not taking me 10 minutes because I cannot focus. Oh, bro, this place is run off of smoke. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a thousand flight controllers in stock uh, because I have nothing better to do with my money. I have it because I know I need 999 as backup. All right. So yeah, we're going to um, try a couple things. I talked to Aaron today about some of the things I want to try with it, uh, with those uh, small quads, which is what we're going to call them. And that'll be the term that they go by. And when they go for sale on the website, they will be called small quad sale. Do not expect to see that word because I don't get it. All right, let's see if we got something better here now. Let me try to do this without frying my poor little uh, servo tester. One, two, three. And for right now, I'm just gonna keep these separated because obviously this is not a final build by any means. But we'll do that. Let's see if we have any more magic smoke. No, it looks like we're okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so when you're done with this, and basically, obviously, when you do it and you wire it properly, you end up with this, right? And so when it's done, now that we don't have any magic smoke, that's good. When it's done, you end up, and I wish I could find my little Emacs motor, but I'm just going to grab another one here. I think I have another one right here. So when it's done, for those of you who didn't see it, uh, you will end up, uh, uh, this is the flame. Oh, this will be fine. So you'll end up doing the same thing. If you guys didn't see this initially, I'll show you. Uh, you'll end up doing the same thing here. And um, let me go ahead and connect this. Where my screwdriver is. Can't find anything because I'm in a hurry. It's always my luck. Stop. Bryce, I see I see what you wrote. I don't like it. <laughs> so get off my screen. I'm not saying it. I don't even get it. Like, where'd the word come from? I mean, I've been sitting here, everybody saying it. How did they get a name? You know, I don't think it makes sense to me. But uh, anyways, that's another discussion. I'm not going to argue because it's a huge community and I respect it. I just don't understand the word, I guess. All right, so one. I need a screwdriver. Test the big one. No, shut up. That sucker's going <laughs> to, not, not hard. I'm not even about to try to hold that while I do that. Just need to get a screwdriver in here. There you go. And let me just put this stupid motor in here and we'll be done. And then, um, so I don't know what this kit will cost. It's that does not about making any money on it. I've got a plenty of the ESCs left. They're not ESCs I'm going to use on any builds. That's what got me thinking about this project. So, um, I will, uh, I will just put it up there. If you guys want to build them yourself, I'll provide the equipment. If you want me to build it for you, uh, probably charge you five bucks for the work. I mean, it's not a big deal, and then you just pay for the parts. Um, but they are available on Banggood and everything else. You just need to get a cheap ESC, and you need to get these uh, uh, P, uh, PCB connectors. And this is the final result right here. And we'll put this here. So for those of you that didn't see it, once you're done doing this, which has turned out ugly because I wasn't worried about the aesthetics of it, plug it in. Here it start up. And then you go and, and there you go. All right, that's the end result. Uh, you get pretty good power out of it. Uh, you actually can, it'll actually uh, do everything that you need to do like a normal ESC would. So I hope that helps. I mean, I kind of just jumped around because I was having a problem with this one with the voltage uh, regulator, but that's my fault. I should have had it planned better. Uh, but this is the end result of it. So um, a very quick way to do your motor testing, a very quick kit. 
Uh, I will put all the parts online, and again, I will offer it to you guys. You can either order the parts, uh, you can buy them, or, or I can assemble it for you. Now, uh, what else did I want to talk about real quick? Let me switch back over here. All right, so uh, that was what I wanted to show you today. So I um, uh, got up. I'll try to get back. Y'all have a good evening. Oh, all right, Joshua. Take care, bud. Uh, so uh, that's the tester, the motor tester. You'll see it on our site tonight. Uh, going back again, this is the new, this is the new T7 motor, uh, but it will be in a metallic rainbow housing like this one. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, this is our new, uh, chaos 3115. We have the 640 and the, uh, let's see, have a 900, nine something and a 640. The other one's in the box. They just got here today too. Um, these are going to be running 6S motors and they'll be running probably, like I said, between a seven to 10 inch prop. Um, so the new X class that we're going to be developing is going to have that. There is a huge piece of eight millimeter thick carbon fiber board back there that I'm going to be using for that build. Uh, we got the new uh, 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 the Dell RC board in, which I'm going to be putting on the on the uh, web tonight as well, so you can have this uh, X class. Yeah. So the last thing is this. Uh, now that we're going to be doing videos every day, I really want you guys to chime in on what you want to see. Alex, I know you put your vote in, and I'm sure some, a couple other you guys did. Um, so I took up a challenge from someone, and the challenge was to develop a quad that would be a hundred dollars uh, or ninety nine ninety nine whatever, um, and it had it came with a, a transmitter, and it was ready to fly five inch. I spent the last month trying to figure out what parts I would use, and I finished it. So I think what I'm going to do is introduce that next, uh, not tonight. I'm going to cut this video down now. Uh, I don't want to bore you guys with any more, uh, but I will be introducing it to you. Uh, show the tiny whoop next to the big. One. Oh, oh, hold on, yeah. Hold on. Here, I could do that. At least you guys can get an idea. Give me one second. Let me go. Let me go. Let me put the focus back on the bench and I will go get you. Let me show you a couple things that we're working on. So, uh, let's see. I'm grabbing them. I'm grabbing them. And where the heck did it go? I've got one more to show you. So, let me get these and you'll get an idea. Okay, so here is <laughs> this is the. Um, this is the massive one, right? This is running the new 3115s, but before they put our bell on them. This is the regular one, okay? And if I can show you, this is a whoop motor. Oh my God, I said the damn word. Ah! Here, let me give you a better idea. Here, here. So Josh sent, I mean, not Josh, Aaron sent me these. Um, they look like, uh, I don't know. They look like little tattoo guns, I guess. Um, I opened up the other box, and now I'm stuck here trying to open this one up. Okay, so here's a little... Okay, so here's the motors. Uh, and I don't know if this is going to help, but I'll, put the, I'll, bring the, I'll bring the actual quad out next. So these are the two motors in comparison. Here, let me do it like this to so get a better idea. There. There you go. All right, so... I don't know if that helps. Uh, so there's this one, and this one, and here's our other one. And here is a, it was just right here, uh, my regular one. I don't know where the heck it went. It's somewhere in this vicinity, but uh, here I'll grab. Here is a comparison to the 1407 Chaos. Uh, I'll put them in order. So T7, T5. Where the hell did my other one go? I swear to God, how things just move around here all day long. Um, here, I'll grab this one. There you go. <laughs> and there you go. This is the, let me move that over. This is the lineup, right? So this is what we're working with. Um, so yeah, so this is, uh, this will be our new, for the larger ones, this is ours for the seven to 10 inch ones. This is our regular one. This is my uh, the three inch quad, and then this is the uh, the small small one that Aaron was kind of to send. And to put them in comparison, here is this itty bitty. Here is uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Let me zoom out. There, let's do it like that. Here is our the seven inch version, uh, the Exodus. There's that, and then here is this Bohemoth right here okay running the running the uh, 3115s does that help i hope that helps uh should give you an idea of what we're going to be working with here um 
that's pretty much about it. So uh, we've got some pretty cool stuff coming up. Um, I would like you guys, let me go ahead and get back out of here. There, we'll do that. Uh, I would like you guys to chime in on things that you want to see. Uh, anything that we can do. Like I said, you're getting videos daily now. Uh, hey, Chris. Um, we're just wrapping it up here because I didn't want to do a long video tonight. I wanted to kind of give an idea, show you guys something simple that we could do. Again, I will put that battery tester online um, and, uh, and, uh, and make that available to you guys. But um, with, all these, with all these coming up, right, there's one. Let's put that so you can see that. Um, here's the other one, which we've already done. And I know uh, Julio's got one of these and uh, both Julio's actually, California and Houston. Uh, and, uh, and that one that you guys saw yesterday, I think, which was this one, this is my bad boy beast right now. This is a new one that I put on yesterday, right? Um, and so this, this is killing me, man. I love this thing. So you plug it in. And, uh, those are the new LEDs from, uh, HDLRC. Um, and those are the new 50 amp, it's ah, bright. 50 amp, uh, the Ford FD uh, 50 amp uh, ESCs that they came out with. Uh, and that's part of the, um, that's part of the PDB package that you can find on our website. Uh, but this is the quad right here uh, that's running the 3400s. Uh, and it is, it is pretty insane. Um, it's extremely insane. Uh, and then uh, Ben Kramer has one here um, that I'm gonna be putting on the bench tomorrow and you guys will be watching that one. Uh, did it freeze, really? Oh crap, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let's see if it'll take it. Oh, did it come back? Let's see if it's back. Hold on. I just want to see if it came back yet. Is it? You guys got to tell me. <laughs> I'm waiting to see. Let me just wait. I'll wait for the first person to text me and tell me if we're back. Are we back? Ah, victory. All right. So, um, okay. Yeah. Whoop. Okay. He said, <laughs> shut up. You see that? So anyways, so that's it right there. That is the, um, beast one. And like I said, I've got Ben Kramer sitting here. It's going on the bench for you guys to see tomorrow as I finish it. Um, uh, but this sucker is pretty badass with the 3,400 KV motors. Uh, so you can expect to see that one. Um, uh, more of this. And then, like I said, on these ones, I think David, yeah, David, you did request a larger one. This is the um, 10 millimeter thick arms, uh, and that is the G10 FR4. Um, I've got to disconnect this, but this stupid buzzer is going to be going off. So let me see if I can get this. Hold on a second. I can't, I, every time I do it, I can't time it properly. Come on. There we go. All right. Um, and so, yeah, David, yours is going to be made kind of like this one uh, with the 10 millimeter arms, and then you're going to go 850 millimeter class, right? So we have got that one. So uh, anyways, guys, I know I've gone off topic, but we've got a ton of stuff coming out, okay? Uh, a, a lot of cool things. And uh, I want you guys to let me know if there's anything I can do to present to you guys as well, some stuff, some new product. Um, and uh, we got some new pilots coming on board. I'll announce all that later. Uh, and you can check out our new builder page. Uh, please give it a shot and see what you think. I'm adding new product to that to where you can just build your own quad and get price. Now, look, I'm limited. I do want to tell you this. I am limited on what I can put on pricing on there because these manufacturers, I don't know who keeps turning me in, but somebody keeps reporting me to the manufacturers for putting pricing below the advertised agreed price. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to leave the pricing like it is and I'm going to add a coupon to the end of the custom build. So when you're done, you can take like 20% off. I don't care. All I care about is I want to give you guys a fair deal, but I can't put like, I want to put motors for like, let's say 15 bucks. Yeah, I'm not allowed to. If I do, I can lose my dealer, uh, my um, authorized dealer status or whatever. So rather than do that, I can give you 20, 30, 40% off a motor and nobody cares. I just can't put it on there. So to all my competitors that keep calling in on me or to all the manufacturers that don't have anything better to do, I'll get around you. Um, all right. So that's it for now. That was my quick crappy video, uh, to start the new year off. I've got to do one a day. I'm not prepared necessarily for it, but tomorrow's will be badass. I'll be introducing some new quads and some new motors and going over, uh, uh, Ben Kramer's and going over a couple other ones. I may even learn how to fly this thing. I'm not sure yet. I'm afraid if I sneeze, 
Uh, I'm out. But uh, guys, I appreciate y'all very much. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, and uh, I wish y'all and your families the best. We're going to make an awesome year this year. And we're going to drop these prices and make it more affordable for everybody. By the way, the $100 quad with transmitter is coming out. And it's not Chinese cheap crap. I promise you. It's actually... Um, pretty badass stuff. I just bought a ton of flight controllers so I can do everything for under 100 bucks out the door. Talk to y'all soon. See you later. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube, subscribe and whatever else and pass it out. See you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.